In this specific video, you're going to learn how to restore a previous backup of your WordPress blog. The first thing that you will want to do is, of course, to go to the XCloner panel. So it's located under the plugins section. And if you watched the previous videos on setting up the configuration settings, then you should have everything ready to go. Now I want you to leave that tab open and in your browser, create a brand new tab and go to your cPanel. Under your cPanel or whatever web hosting panel that you're using, you're going to need to create a brand new MySQL database. So if you are using cPanel, scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on the MySQL database wizard. So we're going to go ahead and create a database. And you'll want to create a username and password. Add all privileges for the user to that database, click on next, and that's it. So make sure that you keep this information that you have created, the database, the database username and the database password. So once you have this information in hand, now you can actually restore your previous backup. At this point, you will need to go to the FileZilla FTP program and make sure that the WordPress folder or wherever you saved the WordPress files, the main folder and the files underneath need to be changed to 777. And you can always change it back so that you can cover your tracks. After you have done this, you can go back to the browser and we can begin the restoration process of the previous backup. So I'm going to click on view backups and you're going to select the backup that you want to clone. Click on clone and enter your details. So enter the website URL, which in this case is http colon slash slash www.yourdomain.com and make sure that there is a slash at the end of the domain name. The FTP host name is ftp.yourdomain.com and your FTP username is the username and the password and then the FTP directory in my case is going to be public underscore HTML slash and make sure there's a slash at the end some of you might be htdocs slash or http doc slash. Click on incremental transfer and click on continue. At this point, it'll take several seconds up to a minute to move the source file and begin the restoration process. After that, you can click here to continue. And keep in mind that some of you may face some errors, some of you may not, depending on your web hosting situation. If you do run into any errors, WordPress is normally going to tell you, let's say you need to change a permission on a specific folder or a specific file. And if it tells you that, all you need to do is go to FileZilla and change the permissions through that avenue. At this page, all we need to enter is the install directory. In this case, I've installed it under the slash green slash. The install URL is the same thing, slash green slash. But in, the, in your case, it could be different. So make sure that you choose the right one. And in number three, you want to choose a backup archive to restore. So I'm going to leave that checked and the next thing is to enter your MySQL information. MySQL server is normally always localhost 
the MySQL user name is what we copied and pasted earlier, and the MySQL database is copied here as well. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, your MySQL username and database is the same thing. Not really, I just named it the same thing. So just keep in mind that database goes to database, username goes to username. So make sure that you keep track of that. I'm gonna enter the MySQL password. And at this point, you can click on the file restore options and you can restore file permissions and so forth and so forth. We're gonna leave that blank and as well as this section blank. And we're gonna go back here and we're just gonna make sure the MySQL database information is here. And we're gonna click on start install. And within a few seconds, the backup files have been restored. Now we need to restore the database. So it says, please click here to continue with the database import. So simply click on this link. And as you can see, the SQL import is finished and the database has been populated. So the whole idea here is in order to restore the database, you need a brand new database. So don't include your current database information. Make sure that you create a brand new MySQL database. So as you can see, everything is back to normal. Now, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind if you log out and you, you notice that, hey, wait a minute, I can't log back in. Well, what happened was it reset everything. So the best thing to do is simply click on lost your password and enter your email address, click on get new password, and then confirm it there and then back, log back in. So I paused this video and went ahead and reset my password. I can log back in. And there's one more thing that you will need to, get, to go do. If you go back to xcloner, you will notice that you have an error at the top here. All you need to do is just go to your settings and go under MySQL and change the database, the username, and so forth to the brand new database information and click on save and you'll notice that everything works again. So from this point on you have successfully restored a WordPress backup.